Hello, Royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of Royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now you won't believe what's happening in the palace these days. And let me tell you, this is exactly the kind of refreshing content we've been desperate for after all the Montecito drama. Mike Tyndall, bless him, has just shown us what a real royal family member looks like, and I am living for every second of it. You know me, I've been following the royal family for decades, and I have to say, seeing Mike's podcast filmed right there in the green drawing room of Buckingham Palace, the same room where certain others cough, Megan Koff took those wedding photos before unleashing chaos on our beloved institution? Well, it just shows the striking difference between those who understand tradition and those who exploit it. Let me tell you why this is so significant, my dears. Here we have Mike Tyndall, who married into the royal family but understands his role perfectly, showing us how to modernize with respect and class. Unlike some people who shall not be named, but we all know who I'm talking about, He's not trying to tear down the institution or make everything about himself. He's bringing a fresh, relatable approach while still honoring the dignity of the space and what it represents. And can we talk about the timing? While our beloved Princess Catherine is recovering with such grace and dignity, and Prince William is showing what true leadership looks like by balancing his duties with supporting his wife, we get this wonderful glimpse into real royal life. Not the manufactured Hollywood version that's being peddled from across the pond, but genuine, authentic moments. The contrast couldn't be more stark, could it? On one side, we have the Montecito crowd, constantly whining about privacy while splashing their truth across Netflix documentaries and ghost-written memoirs. And on the other, we have Mike Tyndall, who's married to Princess Anne's daughter, Zara, showing us how to bring the monarchy into the modern age without destroying everything it stands for. Remember when certain people used that green drawing room for their wedding photos? It was like watching someone tick off boxes on their how to become royal checklist. But Mike's use of the space, it's natural, it's genuine, it's exactly what we need to see from the royal family in these modern times. Let me share something personal with you all. When I first heard about this podcast being recorded in Buckingham Palace, I got emotional. Because this, my dear viewers, this is what adaptation looks like. This is how you honor tradition while moving forward. Not by throwing tantrums on Oprah, not by releasing tell-all books attacking your own family, but by finding ways to make the monarchy accessible while maintaining its dignity. And speaking of dignity, haven't William and Catherine shown us exactly what that looks like? While certain others are busy playing victims in California, our future king and queen are quietly revolutionizing the monarchy through their actions, their dedication, and their genuine connection with the people. The way they've handled recent challenges has been nothing short of inspiring. But back to Mike's podcast. Isn't it refreshing to see someone who married into the royal family actually embracing their role properly? No complaints about not being taught the national anthem. No whining about curtsying. No ridiculous claims about being trapped just someone who understands the privilege of their position and uses it responsibly. The green drawing room itself is so symbolic, isn't it? It's seen so much history, so many significant moments. And while some people used it as a backdrop for their own personal gain, we all know who I mean, Mike's using it to bring people closer to understanding royal life. That's the difference between serving the institution and serving yourself. And let's talk about authenticity for a moment. Remember all those claims from Megan about wanting to modernize the monarchy? Well, look at Mike Tyndall. He's actually doing it. No drama, no destroying family relationships, no running off to America with Netflix deals, just genuine, relatable content that helps people connect with the royal family. I have to say, watching this unfold while certain others continue their pity party in Montecito is quite something. It really shows you don't need to tear down centuries of tradition to be relevant. You don't need to play victim on international television or write bitter memoirs about your family. You just need to be genuine, respectful, and understanding of the institution you're part of. The timing of this podcast couldn't be better, could it? While we've got Harry and Meghan constantly trying to grab headlines with their latest grievances, here's Mike showing us what real integration into the royal family looks like. 
No drama, no demands for attention, just natural, authentic content that brings people closer to understanding royal life. And can we talk about how this approach honors the late Queen Elizabeth's legacy? She always understood that the monarchy needed to evolve while maintaining its core values. This podcast, filmed in such a historic setting, but with such a modern approach, is exactly what she would have wanted to see. It makes me think about poor Harry, honestly. Remember when he was the cheeky, beloved prince who could naturally connect with people? For he fell under the spell of a certain someone who seems to have completely changed his personality. Watching Mike's natural, easy way of representing the royal family just highlights how far Harry has strayed from who he used to be. The contrast between those who understand their royal role and those who saw it as a stepping stone to celebrity couldn't be clearer. While some people use their royal connection to secure Netflix deals and Spotify podcasts, how did that work out, by the way? Others like Mike are actually contributing to the monarchy's evolution in a meaningful way. And let's consider what this means for the future of royal communication. While certain people are busy recording podcasts complaining about their challenging time in the royal family, Mike's showing how to use modern media to bring people closer to understanding and appreciating the institution. That's the difference between building and destroying. It really makes you think about the different approaches to modernizing the monarchy, doesn't it? On one hand, we have the California crew who seem to think modernization means tearing everything down and airing private family matters on international television. And on the other hand, we have people like Mike, William, and Catherine who understand that true modernization means evolving while preserving what makes the monarchy special. The way Mike has handled his role in the royal family should be a masterclass for anyone marrying in. No demands for special treatment, no complaints about the challenges, no running away when things get tough. Just quiet dignity, respect for the institution, and finding ways to contribute positively. And isn't it interesting how this all comes at a time when Catherine is recovering from her surgery? While she and William handle their challenges with characteristic grace and privacy, we get this wonderful example of how to properly bring the public into royal life, not through sensational revelations or attacks on family members, but through genuine, respectful content. I have to say, my dear viewers, watching all of this unfold really highlights the difference between those who understand duty and those who see the royal family as a springboard to celebrity. While some people are busy trying to build their brand in California, others are quietly getting on with the job of modernizing the monarchy in a respectful way. The green drawing room itself seems to tell the story, doesn't it? From certain wedding photos that now seem like they were part of a calculated plan, to this natural, authentic use of the space for something that actually brings people closer to understanding royal life. It's like poetry, really. And let's not forget the bigger picture here. While some former royals are busy trying to convince the world of their victimhood, the actual working royals are showing us what real service looks like. Whether it's William and Catherine's dedicated work, Princess Anne's tireless service, or Mike's natural way of making the monarchy more accessible, this is what real royal duty looks like. The contrast between those who understand their role and those who saw it as a stepping stone to celebrity couldn't be clearer. While some people use their royal connection to secure Netflix deals and Spotify podcasts, how did that work out, by the way? Others like Mike are actually contributing to the monarchy's evolution in a meaningful way. It really makes you wonder what Harry thinks when he sees things like this. Does he remember when he used to be part of something meaningful? before he was led away by someone who clearly had her own agenda? Does he miss the natural, easy relationship he used to have with his family before everything became about Hollywood and victimhood narratives? But let's end on a positive note, shall we? Because while certain people continue their campaign of chaos from across the pond, the real story is how the working royals are quietly getting on with the job of evolving the monarchy for modern times. Whether it's Catherine and William's approach to parenting and royal duties, or Mike's natural way of making the institution more accessible, this is what real modernization looks like. So my dear royal watchers, as we continue to witness the contrast between those who understand duty and those who saw the royal family as a stepping stone to celebrity, let's be grateful for people like Mike Tyndall, who show us how to honor tradition while moving forward. This is the kind of content we need. authentic respectful, and genuinely helping people understand royal life better.
Until next time, keep supporting our true royals. And remember, actions speak louder than words. And some people's actions have been speaking volumes lately. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about Mike's approach compared to certain others we could mention? I can't wait to hear your views. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.